Uh, today we have a 2002 Chevy Impala that came into the shop with a check engine light on. We scanned the vehicle and the code is a P0122, a GPS sensor low input circuit code. So what it means is that the voltage is lower than specified. And we look at the inf service information at close throttle, the TPS sensor should put out around 0.5 volts. And at wide open throttle, you should get around 4.5 volts. So we're gonna show you a couple of steps that you can do in order for you to test and verify if the circuit is working properly or is it the sensor the issue. So one of the first steps you should always do is grab an electrical wiring diagram so you would know exactly where to back probe and check the signal. According to this uh, wiring diagram, we have a TPS sensor with three connections. Connector A, B, and C. At A, if you follow this, it goes to the PCM. The PCM supplies a low reference. That means the PCM supplies a ground to terminal A. At terminal C, the PCM supplies a 5 volt reference. So you will be able to see 5 volt reference at all times regarding of the position of the throttle. And then terminal B is the feedback to the PCM that sends the signal based on voltage. The PCM know exactly where the throttle is located where we supposed to be get around 0.5 volts according to the service information. All right, so what we have here, it's a connector view of the TPS sensor. As you can see, it's three terminals. Terminal A, it's a black wire, and PCM supplies a low reference. Terminal B, it's a dark blue wire. PCM it receives the TPS sensor signal. And at terminal C, gray wire, PCN supplies a fault ball reference. So we're going to back probe terminal A and terminal B, and according to our specs, we should be able to get around 0.5 volts. Okay, so we're currently back probe at terminal A and terminal B. If you look at the TPS sensor here, we have two tip pins, and make sure that the pins don't touch together, otherwise you're gonna get a, a wrong signal. So make sure they are not touching. So we're currently back probe, and you can see on their meter, we're getting around 0.38 which our specification says it should be around 0.5. So at that point right now, we're kind of already below specifications. So we're gonna do a strip test. I'm gonna open the throttle slowly. As I open the throttle, you'll be able to see an increase in voltage gradually as the throttle is open. Well, you don't wanna see any dropouts in volts. You don't wanna see any glitches. So you wanna see an even increase in values. So I'm gonna grab the throttle. I'm gonna start opening the throttle. Right there is fully closed and I'm gonna to start to open it gradually, slowly. You wanna see the value increasing slowly? As I'm opening the throttle. You number, if you notice the numbers increase, but there, there's no dropouts, so that's good so far. That is wide open throttle. So I have it at wide open throttle at this point. So I'm gonna to start to release the throttle slowly and you will see the numbers dropping again. And that's fully close, 0.38. It's lower than specified. So that's one of the reasons why it's triggering the triple code. So our next step will be, since we already know that the sensor is providing a lower voltage than specified, first step, the sensor should be replaced. And after we replace the sensor, double check that you're getting the accurate voltage from the new sensor to verify your repairs and erase the trouble codes. Okay. All right, so now, we just uh, tested the TPS sensor using a multimeter, but a multimeter to a point, it's kind of limited. Within the meter, we just we were able to see that the sensor voltage is lower than specified. That's probably just setting the trouble code. But one of the things we're gonna do, we're gonna test the sensor in a different way, using an oscilloscope. We're gonna be able to use a waveform to see if there are any intermediate problems that the meter might not be able to catch because it might be too slow. But in the oscilloscope, you're gonna see everything live. So if we have the oscilloscope set up already, and the way we set it up, we're connected to terminal A, grabbing the ground from the TPS sensor, and terminal B is the voltage to the PCM. We did a little research already, and according to our specs, we should be able to get around 0.5 volts at a closed throttle, and 4.5 volts at a wide open throttle. 
So we're already within under specifications, so we're going to see if there's anything else wrong with the sensor. So we have the scope set up already, and we already have a waveform because the throttle is fully closed. We're already getting less than that 0.5, so that was the 0.38 volts that we were looking at. So I'm going to open the throttle slowly. What you want to be able to see within the waveform is a nice straight line increasing as the throttle increases without any dropouts or any glitches. You want to see a nice waveform. So I'm going to start to open the throttle right now. I'm going to open it slowly. You'll be able to see an increase, a nice straight line. Increasing going up as the throttle gets open. Oh, there was a drop right there. I'm going to keep opening the throttle. That's wide open. So I'm going to release it again slowly. There was another glitch right there. So I'm going to stop, pause this for a second. Let's talk about what we just saw on this waveform. This is the throttle fully closed. As I'm starting to open the throttle, there's an increase in voltage. But when it reaches this specific point, there's a drop in voltage that happens. The meter didn't caught it, but the oscilloscope did. What will the driver experience is that during acceleration, the vehicle will be hesitating during that point because the PCM will see a drop in voltage and it will start to cut fuel at that specific point. And there will be a lack of power during acceleration or hesitation during that specific point. But if the driver keeps accelerating and goes beyond that glitch, the vehicle will feel normal. And that's an intermediate failure. So this is also setting the treble code. Not only is less than specifications, but this is the main issue that will be triggering the treble code, the P0122 TPS sensor low input code. 